Based on analysis we did last year on sustainability in V4 between 70% of students and lecturers think that typical customers of small fashion brands in V4 are most concerned about plastic waste and pollution and supporting local businesses and recycling. Sustainability Collaboration Platform in V4 is a project based on a database of fashion experts manufacturers and producers. We think that this kind of platform is a very important piece in making a change towards sustainability in V4. We invited leading international experts to answer our questions such as the founder of Fashion Scout Martin Roberts and an award-winning international consultancy and platform. Project University partners from V4 will also answer our questions on this topic. It's really important that the designers and organizations across Central Europe collaborate together. They will share experiences and discover that each other are going through very similar things, have similar needs and can work together to find solutions. There's a saying that strength in numbers and by working together they can find solutions and become stronger together. I think collaboration is important in general and the whole project or the idea of the whole project started with the thought of creating a platform of collaboration. I travelled the world and I returned back to the Czech Republic with a lot of international experience and I knew that we are facing quite a lot of difficulties in running fashion business in the Czech Republic. And I knew that we are facing very similar problems as all the other countries in Central Europe. So I'm very happy that we did it. We created an amazing project of collaboration in the Central Europe, uh, supported by strong partners such as the Visegrad Fund, but also the universities, uh, prestigious universities from four countries. And what is amazing now is that we are facing the problems, of course we still do, but we are finding the solutions together. Ah, well, I think um, the collaboration in general is uh, very important everywhere, uh, especially when we are talking in uh, terms of uh, sustainability. I think we cannot play as a solo players, especially designers cannot. I'm teaching at the academy, and a graduated student cannot uh, somehow continue his career alone. So he always has to have uh, some team of co-workers with him. And, and uh, for sure, for him it's better if he is able to cooperate abroad also. Uh, I think that since a couple of years we can already observe the trend that Visegrad countries start to work together and um, we could see this uh, in the series of events which happening in this part of Europe. So the cooperation is actually the key because um, when we cooperate, um, those countries can bring you know, the mentors from their own uh, countries and they can also attract the investors uh, to have you know, funding for uh, fashion shows, um, maybe some round table and also for the mentoring uh, program. And I think that it's also uh, all about the sharing the best practice and making the connections uh, between those countries. And probably, you know, also uh, thinking about the uh, business opportunities uh, in the future. I think collaboration is a key for creating amazing projects for success. Uh, it's very important because everyone has their own cultures, their own traditions, and joining them all is an amazing key for working and creating better things. Okay, uh, I think that it's uh, one way um, for us because uh, the Visegrad group for, for me is the center of Europe and we have the same uh, historical stuff from the after the second world so I think that it's very uh, super work together because we have some historical stuff with the communist identity as communist identity uh, democratic stuff and we can work uh, in the design in the in the same meaning in the same way um, I think collaboration is important in gen it like as a concept it is a really important concept for every country not just for central europe um specifically for central europe i think because of proximity 
but also similar culture, maybe an economic sort of situation. So I think different countries standing together and working together will make it a stronger sort of a force um, going out. But yeah. Local collaboration in Central Europe, uh, I find it very important uh, in that sense um, that uh, we need to support each other, uh, which is uh, a kind of ideology. And from, from the practical point of view, uh, it's quite easier um, to uh, collaborate uh, within Europe than uh, to send our designers to China uh, to supervise the entire process and then to pack everything into containers. Yeah? And, uh, and bring over to, to Europe. That's what I already said, sharing good practice is a key moment of uh, developing a certain business. I think that because we don't have a strong history of fashion industry in Czech Republic and in the Central Europe in general, it is very important that the people that do have the knowledge and have the experience share their experience with the young talents because that is the only way we can help them to build their own career and we can all together build the, the fashion industry to be stronger. But what I wanted to say, and I think it's a very important message that we are Central Europe. Of course, we have certain regional situation. We do cope with similar problems with the other countries in Central Europe, but we are still part of Europe. Uh, we are not a separated continent. We, we have been part of Europe historically always, and there is so many amazing talents and so many amazing universities and great schooling. So there is a lot of talent to be discovered in Central Europe and uh, who can do really amazing business in fashion industry. We can all help local talent by actually simply supporting them actually going out and buying clothing, buying designs by them, working with young photographers, working with stylists, and appreciating their work, understanding their point of view. Sharing of a good practice, uh, we all need that because uh, we would somehow need to, need to go ahead uh, forward faster. And, and if somebody already knows what to do, how to do, have already found uh, some, some good method or, or technique or something which can make a fashion industry or, or fashion in general better, it's great if he is able to share because then others can, can go forward faster. Um, I think that we can uh, support the young designers uh, by providing them the tools um, and also organizing uh, various workshops uh, where you know, established designers could come and share their practice, um, and the best practice. And also, um, I think it's quite important um, to establish, you know, the profitable partnership between the universities and uh, institutions. So I think that all the grants um, that a local government can provide, uh, we could use that. Also, we could use like a European Union funds. Um, and also like local initiatives, local fashion shows, uh, workshops, uh, pop-up stores, everything which can uh, promote uh, young designers and their brand and their brand awareness. Well, I think we can share them like Local creativity is amazing, and I also think joining forces with other cre creatives is also very important. So I think we must support them all the time and with every tool we have, um, just showcasing them, exploring their projects and being with them. Because the uh, local design and the local stuff, it's, new, it's not a new trend, it's a new life for us. And uh, we have the... Um, many students who would like stay in the Czech Republic or Poland, doesn't matter which country, and work for the people in their country. So I think that it's important to help them with the working in the country, in the Europe. I think it's always important to start locally. So I think promoting young talent within the local market is very, very vital and that there is an understanding and awareness of 
this creativity sort of growing within the countries. I think I think sharing good practice is very import, important for future generations um, to pass on the information, pass on the you know knowledge. But it's also about like transparency and free flow of information. Uh, yeah, young people, young designers uh, need a platform to communicate. So European Fashion Accelerator is uh, helping them. In this matter, they can communicate, uh, they could exchange uh, experience. The collaboration in fashion industry and in all creative businesses is key factor for success that I learned through modeling career, through building my business, my event agency, my modeling agency, starting amazing projects like Fashion Weeks in Czech and Slovakia. And also European Accelerator is very important project of collaboration. Without key partners, we would not be able to develop the project. We would not be able to upgrade the project every year and offer great solution to our young designers. So I'm very proud that we managed to build a strong platform of, of education and, and PR support of, of local talent. And um, everything that I learned in my past career, I learned through collaboration with people. So I think that what we do now with this project is amazing, not only for the designers who are the most seen, but also for all the creative team, including uh, the cameras and, and the photographers and makeup artists. It's all creating an environment that is friendly and that is super creative and that can bring amazing results. So at Fashion Scout, we run a platform in Southeast Europe called Fashion Scout Southeast Europe where we work with designers from and fashion weeks from Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, Macedonia and Montenegro. And their designers come together with their fashion organizations for international competition. They get to meet each other. They get to see the designs and talk to each other and understand they're often going through the same problems. Production problems, pricing, access to market, fabrics, sourcing. The organizations also realize that they've got similar problems of access to international um, audience as well as for sales for their designers and appreciation by the government of the wonderful creative talents. And again, by working together, by talking, they form a bond. They realize that there is a lot they have in common. And again, there are strength in numbers of working together and I've seen people from Serbia buying designers from other countries where they would never have seen that and never have had the opportunity to discover that. Me uh, working at the academy, we are used to collaborate with other academies, so for example, Czech Republic. This is always uh, very nice because uh, we can see a different points of view. We all have somehow uh, the same mentality, sharing, sharing a, a common ideas. And, and uh, it's always good to see that you are not alone and you, you see other students uh, having the same problems as you have, fighting the same challenges as you are fighting. And if you see those who succeed, it can give you a great support because you can truly believe you are able to do that as well. Or if you see some failures, you can very fast learn from their mistakes. So I think that this is this is great, and also we are collaborating with uh, small companies where students can get uh, get a lot of experiences. Uh, I think that uh, the most important is a look for uh, resources. So for my own work, sometimes I need to work with graphic designers, illustrators, and I'm always like looking for the young and emerging, uh, you know, uh, creatives. Um, for them, it's very important to show their portfolio. For me, it's also important to see like more innovative, you know, ideas and uh, talents and people who are just starting, you know, their careers, they are also tend to be more humble and they really appreciate the opportunity opportunities. So I would suggest to young designers also to look in their own local network. Maybe they have friends who are photographers, makeup artists, stylists, right? Or they have colleagues who could be a model so they can really start small. 
uh, with a bunch of their friends or people that they know and then they can grow so everybody can benefit in the end of the day and promote uh, each other. My experience in collaboration is I'm from Latin America, I'm from Argentina and I've been collaborating with designers from all around Latin America for a while now and the key is collaborating, collaborating with different designers from different countries, from art directors, from stylers. Uh, that creates something amazing and this union and this, a participation of all these different creative people creates something bigger and it's amazing how the scoop you can get. But what is important for me is uh, the collaborate with the Slovakia because for me it's uh, to back make some Czechoslovakia stuff. So for me it's very important work together with the Slovakia designer because we have the uh, similar language similar identity and we can understand more the Czechoslovakia market. I mean, collaboration, I guess, you know, comes in many different forms. And, uh, I, I, you know, I'm constantly collaborating with people every day, you know, through my business. So, I mean, to give an example about, you know, maybe working on a day-to-day -day running a PR company, um, I consider, you know, working for a client a collaboration because um, when you collaborate with someone, you think on their behalf also what would, or, you know, what makes sense and what would be the kind of steps or a strategy that you take forward. So for me, a good collaboration is a complete understanding of everybody's roles and objective within the project. And um, so, you know, like whenever we have a really successful media, you know, result, or when we, you know, especially now we do a lot of social media um, uh, strategy for brands. And so I think it's also about understanding the client's need. So we, you know, always take their perspective as to, you know, what we would do things and look for the right type of media, look for the right type of influences. And when a good result comes out, I always consider that as like a good, good collaboration. And, uh, but, through doing lots of this, you know, you understand better, like the need of different parties, different creatives. And then, so I think it's also like for the growth of everyone um, you know, that's involved. I think being open to different ideas is really important. So I think open-mindedness and also, again, sharing information and collaborating with each other um, is, is, you know, is what I would advise. Uh, for any young designers or young brand to start off? It is obvious that uh, the best advice for a young designer is go to already established uh, sewing business and get some experience. And then when you would like to establish uh, your own business, this experience is going to be crucial so we are sending our graduates of our school uh, to the uh, biggest uh, companies and they come back with this experience. It's going to be beneficial for their own career.